Welcome dear learners to the second part of the first unit of the course Organizational Change and Development. My name is Chainika Senapati and I am from Maniram Devan School of Management in Krishnakanta Hondikori State Open University. So dear learners, uh, in the first part of the video, if you have gone through the first part of the video, you have, uh, you know, you have come across the concepts of organization development, its meaning and definition, the history of organization development and the relevance of organization development. So in this video, what we are going to discuss is about the characteristic of organizational development and few assumptions of organizational development. So when we talk about characteristic of organization development, a number of special characteristics, you know, it distinguishes organization development from other approach, approaches to, you know, manage and improve the organizational functioning and effectiveness. So the first one would be, Organizational development is a long-term effort. You know, organization development cannot be completed in a short span of time. It was stated by French and Cecil uh, that it is not a quick fix. It takes several years or even decades to achieve a change. A manager or a leader must, you know, set very high goals and then achieve them in stages through proper planning process. Number two is organization development involves a collaborative approach to change. So in organizational development, the consultant seeks and maintains a collaborative relationship of, you know, relative quality with the organizational members. Collaboration, by collaboration we mean to work together. Essentially, it means that both the consultant and the client system, you know, works together on the problems. They try to solve the problem and bring effective change in the organization. Third characteristic would be, it is a planned approach, as we have discussed. Uh, organization development programs are planned and not accidental. They, you know, they represent a deliberate entry of either an organization uh, development consultant or organization development activities into the client system, that is the organization, to bring about the organizational change. The fourth characteristic is that this program emphasizes on the ways to enhance performances. Organization development programs and the efforts are you know designed to produce organizational effectiveness and you know better system functioning you know greater ability to achieve objectives and the basic aim of organization development is to enhance congruence between the organizational structure the processes the strategies and the people working in the organization then you know developing new and creative organization solutions then also uh, developing the organization's uh, self renewing capacity the fifth characteristic would be it is based upon scientific approach to increase organizational effectiveness. It is an applied field in which the theories, the concept, the practices from you know sociology, uh, social psychology, psychology, education, uh, management, economics are you know brought uh, together and deal with the real organizational problems. Then number six would be uh, it is a learning process. Yes, uh, it is a learning process. A learning organization is one where people continually expand their capacity to create the results that they desire, where new and expansive, you know, patterns of thinking are nurtured and where the people are continually learning how to learn together to achieve the organizational goal. Then it represents a systems approach. Although organization development practitioners may concentrate on one or other aspect or, you know, unit of a group organization, there is a implicit you know recognition of the systematic uh, nature of the organization you know, an organization consists of different subsystems like task structure technology and people they are interlinked by various processes and the organization as a whole interact with the external environment including the society as well and change in one part or the process of the organization will definitely bring changes in the other parts again organization development needs an ideal culture. So an ideal culture is always a mandate uh, for organization development uh, to be successful. So organization culture includes the basic assumptions, the values, the norms, uh, the behavior which are you know perceived as correct by the members of the organization. So culture is the bedrock of organizational behavior and the culture of an organization is passed on to the new employees and the culture is also important for the organizational development as well. So by far, we have discussed about the characteristic of organizational development. Now let us, let us discuss uh, some assumptions 
uh, of organization development. So by assumptions, uh, what do we mean? These are, you know, these are the beliefs that are regarded as so valuable and, you know, correct that they are taken for granted and rarely examined or questioned. So basic of some organizational development activities, there are a set of assumption or you may can say a set of beliefs which are related to number one, people as, in, as individuals, number two, to people as group members and leaders and to people as members of the total organizational system. So now let us discuss this one by one. The first is the assumptions about people as individuals. So organization development effort makes two assumptions about people as individuals. One is the most individuals have drive towards personal growth and development. So in support and in this challenging environment, most individuals want to become what they are capable of becoming. And secondly, most people are capable of making higher level of contribution to the organizational goals. The second assumption is about people in groups and about leadership. So under this, the most physiologically relevant reference groups for most people in the work group, it is basically implies that what goes into teamwork, especially at the informal level, has great significance for feelings of satisfaction and competence, you know, work in this uh, assumption. And most people wish to be accepted by at least one small reference group. So this helps them to greatly increase their effectiveness as they can, you know, take help of their reference group to solve problems. Again, group members must assist each other uh, with effective leadership and member behavior. You know, for a group to increase its effectiveness, the formal leader cannot, you know, perform all the leadership and maintenance uh, functions in all the circumstances at all the times and, uh, you know, therefore, uh, assistance in leadership is required. So group leader, you know, group members must assist the leader with multiple roles required for group effectiveness like group problem solving and also in the process of decision making when conflict management and many other aspects like this. Again, you know, suppress feelings and attitudes, you know, they adversely affect problem solving, uh, then personal growth and job satisfaction. Then the level of interpersonal trust, support, cooperation is much lower in most of the groups and organizations than uh, is either desirable or necessary. Typically, a number of forces contribute to such situations like lack of considering feelings of each other as important, lack of you know group problem uh, solving skills and leadership style that re on in reinforce you know dysfunctional competitions. So these are some of the assumptions uh, that are related to you know people in groups and about leadership. Now let us discuss about assumptions about people in organization system as a whole. So here in this assumption, there are you know some assumptions that about the people in organization system that also underlie organization development efforts. So first is the win loss conflict strategies are dysfunctional over the long run. A win-win attitude should be encouraged always in an organization. Then a developmental set of assumptions about people will lead to organizational development. The belief that people are important and can grow and develop personally and help in developing organizational competency is likely to you know, reap uh, rewards, beneficials to both organization and its member. The third assumption would be, you know, the possible to create human as well as profitable organizations. So it's possible uh, to create organizations that on one hand are the human, developmental and empowering and, you know, on the other hand are the high performing in terms of productivity, quality of output and profitability. So the implication is that people are an organization's most important resource. Uh, that we all know and they are the source of you know productivity and should be treated with care so dear learners with this we have come to the end of the second part of the video session on the unit which is organization development of the course organization change and development so in this video session we discuss about the characteristics of organization development and also a few assumptions of organization development so thank you for watching this video we'll be coming up with different videos with different aspects related to organization development in our near future videos. Thank you.